Welcome to the channel, I'm Tom, and today we are gonna look at our box turtles the last time of the year. That's because they're hibernating. They are in this big enclosure. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, we're gonna do kind of an uncut video today, looking for the box turtles and bringing them inside my garage and sheds to hibernate. And that's what we're gonna do. It's kind of sad. We got to say goodbye to them. They won't be a part of our videos going forward. So hopefully we can find all of them right now. And they'll have a good winter. Now, as you guys may know, I've been away. Two out of the past three weeks... I've been down in the southeastern United States, Alabama, Mississippi, Georgia, Florida, for the day job, looking for a rare oak. I got a grant from the U.S. Forest Service and the American Public Gardens Association to go explore. And I found some cool stuff. There's Max, our dog. And I loved it. That's what I'm made for, guys. Exploration. See new places. I'd never explored much down there, only gone on vacation. So, just like that trip, we're going to be doing a little bit of exploration today. Let's set up the camera. gonna use this pole just to kind of probe gently some of the soil to see where the box turtles may be hiding. Now I think I have a good idea where they could be. Whoop! Sorry about that. Let me put that on a little tighter. But ultimately I'm not 100% sure where I'm gonna find them. I'm not, gonna, I'm not sure how hard this is going to be. I don't want to destroy their enclosure totally. But they like to hide under the logs. This will be the second winter hibernating these guys. Oh wow, I've got some nice earthworms in there. Hopefully they've been eating those. Non-native earthworms. Found one. There we go. Right there. That looks like sunrise and the soil is it's nice and warm. While I was gone, it was pretty warm. So yeah, she's ready. Once I find them, I'll put them in this container. That's pretty easy. These are three-toed box turtles. They're from kind of the south central part of the country. I'm in Ohio, northeast Ohio. That's kind of a long way from where they live in their native range. And while they can probably tolerate our winters, I prefer to have them inside. inside my garage, that is. So they're still gonna brumate. Um, brumation is the sort of, uh, I think there's another one in there. Brumation is the word du jour for a, for reptile hibernation. Nope, oh, that's just a root. Um, Turtles don't truly hibernate like a mammal would and fall asleep. They're simply responding to the drop in temperature. So the name hibernation isn't really applied to reptiles anymore. So 
I've had a pretty good fall. Pretty, pretty warm. And, and who knows? Maybe I won't be able to find them all. I don't know. You can see there's little insects out flying. I've had these guys for about a year and a half, or about a year, a little bit longer than a year. So the soil is pretty darn warm. It had been decades since I kept box turtles. They're really cool. I didn't knowingly get any eggs this year. And that's not the goal for these. The goal for these animals is to give former pets a nice home. And if they are able to reproduce, that's just fine with me. But I didn't look for eggs. One of the best producing females. Oh, that's, there's gotta be one in here. Yes, we got one. That looks like Leo, I think, yeah. Yeah, that's Leo, our big male. So, two down, three to go. They're not that deep. It's still pretty warm. It warmed up a bunch. Set the camera up again, move it down a little bit. And who knows? Maybe, maybe more of these guys can stay outside, right? So maybe I'll have a few inside. And if I don't catch them all, maybe that's okay. And it's good to know they're not extremely deep. That's another one. They make a distinct sound when you touch them with the stick. Yep. There we go. That is... What is this one's name? Mr. Grumpy. That is Mr. Grumpy. Just make sure there aren't any more in here. This soil is all very nice and loose. It's all of a decomposed leaves from last fall that I left in over the winter. And this whole thing was just full of leaves. You can see how they've decomposed into the soil and that's given these animals a nice place to dig down and bed into the soil. Three animals and then two, two are left. And that's the two big females, Mango, who, Mango is one of the mascots of the channel. A beautiful turtle, uh, has had some issues with her health, and hopefully we've got her all straightened away. Let me just adjust this as we move on. But Mango is the turtle I'm most concerned about. We've got some uh, neighbors. Don't know if you can hear that. But here's one of the little sedges I planted. Oh, didn't work very well. Just put that in the ground. Hopefully that will sprout next winter. And add some nice greenery and shade 
to the box turtles and potions. Exciting news, I came home to Ethel's eggs that had hatched. Two of the three eggs that she hatched, that she laid back in June, have hatched. Here's another turtle. This, I think, is going to be Mango. Yep, that's Mango. Uh, hey, hey, girl. You can see Mango's got her that uh, shell. She's only got that tiny little bit of her shell left. So, all we have now is number eight. I was talking to my friend Matthew, and Matthew hibernates a lot of box turtles. Um, and these guys go down early, and I think it is a combination of two things, and that is the fact that they're in the shade there's giant trees all around here so they're not getting a lot of direct sun and i also don't have a lot of plants for them to hide under so if they really want to hide they have to dig in for the night Man, it makes me feel good that there's all of these big uh, louse words and uh, earthworms. Well, we're competing with the lawnmower. So, on a day like today, that's a bit cooler, but, you know, the highest is, the temperature's in the 60s. Matthew's animals will be up and walking about. But, he's got a lot of grass, got a lot of leaves. So they can hide. So we're just looking for number eight, and... Maybe she's under here. I kind of doubt it, though. I think the last part, last place that she's most likely to be is right there. That wasn't good. Well, she's not in there. Make sure she's not like falling in the water. I don't see any turtles in there. Oh, 
they were waking up. <laughs> That's funny. I saw four heads and as soon as I went over there, they quickly went away. There's a lot of midges and stuff flying around. So it was a pretty good year for hingebacks. So far seven homes have hatched. And I think I had not, no, 10, no gooey. So 17 animals this year. That's a pretty good year. But next year I'm expecting a lot more because I have a new female coming online. That's Heidi. We originally got Heidi two years ago, December of 2021. And then, so she was in quarantine for a while and we have a male for her now. Ethel. I'm working on finding a new male for Ethel. And, uh... But it's gonna get really cold. It's gonna drop below freezing. And I think I found it. Maybe? Nope. It's a rock. And who knows, maybe number eight will hibernate out here if I don't find her. Maybe she'll come up. Who knows? Key is to keep the probe pointing downward. Yep, look at that. Right underneath my feet. There's number eight. <laughs> Now let's get their inside home set up. See you in a bit. Here's their winter home. It is a big container full of soil. 
Let's see how dry it is. It's a bit dry. I might have to add some more water. That's where they'll live. So we have a pretty big garage and we are really lucky to have a heater up here. So you guys could probably see there's a lot of potential in this garage. For, but that heater, I will turn on and leave at 40 degrees. And that way, those turtles won't get any colder than 40 degrees. Uh, however, it is a bit warm right now. And so what I also have is this shed. And so this isn't insulated. It's much cooler in here. And so what I'm gonna do is actually keep them in here for a bit. And once it gets really cold, they will move in to that bin. So for now, we're gonna put them in the shed, give them some straw, and we'll go from there. I'll finish that up. Have a great day. Thanks for watching For the Turtle.